Hello, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to talk to you about what is in some ways the biggest story in the mobile industry for the year 2017. It's been in the works for years. Big exciting news story, not going to have much actual real impact for several years now. And I'm talking about the big 600 megahertz spectrum auction. Now, spectrum, you could think of that as the real estate that cell carriers operate on. And there's only so much to go around. There's already existing users of Spectrum, and there's uh, not a lot of uh, free, undeveloped real estate. Um, and what has been in the works for the last several years, is the FCC has been coordinating an auction off of 600 megahertz Spectrum that is currently used by um, UHF TV channels. So the channels uh, 29 through um, 27 through 51, um, they're we're hoping to be able to sell that spectrum off and to use it for cellular service. But there's a problem. There's a lot of TV channels still broadcasting on those channels. So the FCC over the last several years has been orchestrating, and actually the auction has been underway for an entire the past year, um, a reverse auction where first there was bidding for the how much it would take for the TV channels to give up their space, to either go off the air or combine their spectrum assets and combine broadcast towers with other TV stations. Or, or even completely shut down. Um, so they had a reverse auction to find out how many TV channels would be willing to give up their spectrum. And then they had an auction to sell carriers to buy this spectrum for cellular use and went on for a year. The auction finally ended and we have the winners and uh, um, TV channels 38 through 51 will be shutting down. And the big winner was T-Mobile. They actually managed to buy up Spectrum that will let them expand their coverage to every square inch of the US, which is huge news for them. They've always struggled as um, AT&T and Verizon had the prime low band, long range Spectrum like that before. Um, the other big winners and bidders in the auction was uh, Dish Network. Uh, the satellite uh, TV provider has uh, been buying up Spectrum for years, potentially paving the way for them to roll out a nationwide cell service. The, the other uh, big winner uh, was Dish Network, um, who bought a, a lot of nationwide spectrum as well, not nearly as much as T-Mobile, um, but that opens the door for them to potentially roll out a cellular service at some point down the road. And uh, Comcast is starting to fill in some areas and uh, potentially to expand their new Xfinity mobile service. Um, the big surprises was Verizon did not show up and bid at all. They had registered for the auction. They were supposed to be a part of it. They decided to sit it out. Uh, Sprint has been struggling. They had announced in advance they were going to sit it out. And AT&T bid surprisingly little, only buying up a few major urban areas worth of spectrum, um, basically just clearing the way for uh, T-Mobile to be the big winner. Um, sounds great, but this is now, how long is this going to take before it actually matters in your mobile devices? It's, now, T-Mobile is excitedly crowing that they're going to be able to start rolling out by before the end of this year, 2017. They'll have the first devices using 600 megahertz spectrum, um, probably a phone from Samsung just before the end of the year will come out that supports this new these new channels. But only a few tiny areas of the country will be able to go live by the end of the year because you've got to wait for the TV channels to shut down and move away. It's going to be a slow transition. TV channels have up to 39 months to shut themselves off and uh, um, make way for the new owners of the spectrum. And in a lot of the country, this means it won't be until 2022 that uh, T-Mobile and other, whoever bought, else bought the spectrum is able to bring out service and roll out service. Um, so the first batch will be the end of this year, 2017. I think the next slated batch will be at late 2018 and 2019. This is going to be a slow transition, but it is an exciting future. It does open up a lot more capacity, particularly this is capacity that will be useful in rural areas and for long range coverage because this low band 600 megahertz spectrum is what best penetrates buildings, best penetrates trees, and best travels over long, wide open distances. So exciting news for the future. This actually will um, go, the way, go towards paving the way for long range 5G, as well as new LTE um, bands expanding out. Um, big news, wait and see how it all develops.